gather round the shelved ones and welcome to Pillowcase of Doom, Slasher Edition. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying these slasher ones. Yeah. Um, it is my turn to uh, pick from the Pillowcase of Doom. Uh, but do you want you want to give it a good stir? You want to make sure yeah. I'm uh, I'm on on the up and up. Just give it a big stir. Shake things around in there. Don't don't peek in there though. I know how you are. Don't peek in there, okay? <laughs> you give it a big stir. Okay. All right. So now you got it nice and stirred up. I have to rewatch the video to try to figure out what's all in here, because I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> we got this one and one more. Then, uh, then summer's over. Um, I'm not necessarily mad about summer being over because I'm not the biggest summer fan. I'm more of a fall guy. And when I say fall guy, I'm not talking about the movie, even though <laughs> that movie and the show, the, the movie actually looks kind of funny. I don't know. I, don't, I, I think it bombed, but. What, what does that matter? All right, what we got here? The Prowler. Yeah. Now, have you seen The Prowler? I don't think so. Savini does uh, some stuff in this. And this is Slasher, obviously, or wouldn't be yeah. in our, our, our uh, bag here. All right, the pillowcase has spoken. It demands us to watch The Prowler. So I guess... With the uh, with the Rosemary Killer, I guess we see where Jason got the utility belt from. <laughs> <laughs> it came out the year of your birth, just yeah. like Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. That's not the only similarity with Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. You have the pitchfork, and you had the girl under the. This one's not really a bed. That was really a covered. Hey table kind of thing a table sofa whatever something and a rat there now this one did not have any dark urine coming out some similarities one thing this one did have that friday the 13th did not is tom savini it's like that shot too it's like her, her holding the uh pitchfork it's crazy I mean, one couldn't have solved the other because, and I mean, they were... she's blonde, too. Yeah, she is blonde, too. One couldn't have solved the other one because, well, I mean, they both came out the same year. Mm -hmm. Of course, then you, you have a dork 40-plus years later sitting on a couch watching it, trying to think something deep about it. <laughs> you know, and it's probably not there. Ah! Got he. All right, so that was The Prowler from 1981, directed by Joseph Zito. Uh, Joseph Zito also gave us uh, Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter, which is another really awesome horror movie. He done a couple of Chuck Norris uh, action flicks, which I've never seen, and he was an executive producer for Alice Cooper's video for He's Back, The Man Behind the Mask. With the movie, I, I absolutely love this movie. Suspense mode. Moments. Oh yeah. There's a lot there, and I, I think they do a good job of the suspense moments. I just think they're, you know, it may be a little bit too suspenseful. I, I, I thought, you know, throw us another kill or two in there. Not, not to diss the movie because the movie is really good. I just, you know. I'm greedy. I just would like to have more kills because this movie, those kills are awesome. It's going to be really hard to pick yeah. what my favorite one is. Speaking of, what's your favorite kill? Dagger in that guy's head. Oh, yes. And um, how his, uh, the blood just gushed out. Yeah, yeah. And then the eyes got turned white. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was a really good kill. That would almost be my favorite. It's crossed between that one and then the, uh, the shower scene with the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, the pitchfork. I mean, I know it would give a lot of spoilers, right? I think my favorite kill is, uh, when the prowler gets killed. Because because that oh, yeah. exploding head, head, yes, very nice. Um, we watched the uh, the Blu-ray from Blue Underground. Special features wise, there is like a 10 minute uh, Tom Savini special feature on it. Other than that, there's a, a commentary track, which is always good, and a, a trailer. 
Um, visually, the picture quality um, was your typical Blu-ray. Yeah, it Blu-ray. wasn't it wasn't bad, you know. It was probably a little bit step up with what the DVD looked like back in the day, but um, nothing too outstanding. It's good enough though. Would I repurchase this movie? Um, I mean, for the picture quality, probably not. I probably wouldn't do it just for the picture quality. Now, if someone got after and gave us a bunch more, like, you know, special features, I would repurchase that because I think it's a good enough movie that I would uh, definitely watch this one. Again, I've watched it several times now. And it's definitely... Watch it again. All right, guys. Have you seen The Prowler? What did you think about it? Let us know down in the comment. And as always, stay spooky and keep it disheveled. Ah! I didn't get you. Damn. Come on, man.